steam and thermal oil systems providing heat and power are crucial for any conventional ship. Fuel transfer systems move fuel from storage tanks to engines, boilers and thermal oil heaters. Elements of these systems are subject to temperatures over 100 degrees centigrade and pressures of 5 bar or more. Therefore, working on such systems can be extremely dangerous. Brief exposure to steam at working temperatures and pressures can result in severe injury or death. A sudden release of pressurised fuel can also cause chemical burns to a person and may lead to a fire. Following correct procedures is essential for reducing risks in any operation, including those involving hot and pressurised systems. It is vital to follow written instructions, use the right tools and equipment and ensure that all safety measures are in place before commencing the job. Detailed planning is important when preparing for maintenance tasks. Review equipment manuals and system drawings to identify hazards. Carry out a formal risk assessment. Inform the deck department where appropriate. A permit to work must be issued by a senior engineering officer. Carry out a toolbox meeting immediately prior to starting the task. Estimate the time required to complete the task and allow extra time for any unforeseen occurrences. A minimum of two persons should work on a pressurised and hot system. When working on the system, it is important to wear the correct personal protective equipment. Ensure valves are fully functional and measuring instruments are accurate. Consider using portable measuring tools such as infrared thermometers. Confirm that the system you are planning to work on is isolated and prevented from use. Secure relevant valves with locks and tag them. Display warning notices in key places. The use of lotto is particularly important if the preparation work is carried out by a third person. If a tank manhole is to be opened, ensure that it leads to a desired compartment. Depressurize the system and allow time for the system to cool down. Check that the heat tracing system is stopped. Drains and vents must be opened gradually. Ensure that pressure is off the system before any fastenings are slackened off. When breaking joints of pipes, fittings, access covers or inspection doors, it is important to not remove the bolts, nuts and dogs completely before the joint has been broken in case there is pressurised fluid in the system. Beware of hot vapour which may still be present. If lighting is poor, use approved portable safety lamps. When reassembling the system, always remove the old gasket and fit a new one of the correct size and type. Avoid tightening up fastenings on live pressurised systems. When restarting the system, always follow the equipment manual and the company safety management system. Use code of safe working practices for general safety guidelines. Remember, safety is always the top priority. Be safe and stay alert.